Welcome to Brainstorm MTG. Jumping right in here with Fast Effect, Double Speed, Magic the Gathering. Mark off to a horrible start. Mulling to five, finding only a basic swamp where Lucas's deck is giving him everything it could possibly need here. A Delver on turn one, a Stoneforge on turn two, and Aether Vial here for Mark. Looking to get a little counterplay. That gets dazed, and that's going to do it. Moving on to game number two. That was an absolute beating there. Uh, those Delvers about to flip and uh, looking at at least seven damage a turn. Batter Skull going to come down. I mean, that was an absolute mess. Mark Mulling to five. Uh, this is using the old Vancouver Mulligan. Uh, now that we're in the London Mulligan after this event, I believe, uh, that's hopefully going to be a less common occurrence. Never a fun way to start things out in the elimination rounds. Facing down... A opponent on seven when you mold to five and don't even have the right color mana going to four. Just so unlikely that anything's going to come out of that. Basically just hoping to draw into some red and hope your opponent doesn't have a great draw. Maybe he has some hand trips trying to smooth things out at the beginning, but that was not the case. Lucas able to push through a bunch of damage and set up a very dangerous board state over the course of the first three turns there while Mark was not able to draw what he needed off the top. He will have the play here, however. And I would say that Lucas couldn't necessarily tell what Mark was on based off of that draw. Uh, but to be honest, everybody knows that Mark is on Goblins. Uh, he has been playing Goblins in every format and having quite a bit of fun with it. A little bit of a thunderstorm outside. Hopefully that's not going to be too distracting for you guys. It is hot and steamy outside, nice and cool in here at ELD's Time Ball Games in Bellingham, Mass. Always try to create a nice, comfortable environment. Cool in the summer, nice and warm in the winter. Plenty of play space. See what Mark can do here with his mull. Really trying to randomize that deck, unhappy with how... It uh, completely screwed him over there in game number one. Just a basic swamp and a mono red deck, practically. Really? I mean, that is that is not ideal. The Black Splash, basically just for Munitions Expert and uh, potentially Earwig Squad, some sideboard cards. Volrath Stronghold, uh, one of the more notable cards in the deck, allows for recursion of your creatures with Enter the Battlefield ability like Matron or Munitions Expert, Goblin Ringleader, and can get back your biggest threats. Aether Vial actually getting forced here by Lucas. And depending on the hand, Goblin's very often happy when that happens. Another Aether Vial. This time leaving a black open. Brainstorming for Lucas. And he's going to let it go. And Vial begins to tick up. Three mana now for Mark. God and Port likely going to look to connect with one of Lucas's lands in his upkeep and slow things down while this Aether Vial ticks up. Goblins has options all up and down the curve. Wasteland taking out that Rashad and Port. Vial on two. So missing a one drop in either Goblin Lackey or Goblin Matron, or Goblin uh, Mog Fanatic, sorry. Uh, goblin Crater Maker now. And a Cavern of Souls is going to make some uncounterable goblins. How big can this be? True name Nemesis. Very dangerous in one-on-one -on -one combat, but he can only take down one goblin at a time. We see Munition Expert, Mog War Marshal, Goblin Chieftain, and Sling Gang Commander. And that is a 4 for 4 would do again Goblin Ringleader. Ponder now. Leaving Lucas wishing he had some type of mind twist effect, just knowing that his opponent just drew four cards off of that Goblin Ringleader. Uncounterable opportunity. 
just plus four right off the top into his hand, plus a 2-2 body, meaning that Lucas is actually not favored to win. Containment Priest is going to shut down this vial. And now the combat step a little bit more awkward, but honestly, Mark's going to be totally happy to get rid of this containment priest. He may actually use this goblin crater maker to clear her out of the way, get Vile going again. Crater maker, such a role player. A ball therapy now. Whiffs showing engineered explosives, force of will, and Jace the Mind Sculptor, but it is likely to get flashback real soon here. An uncounterable Mog War Marshal. Getting rid of this engineered explosives, saying you can keep the Jace, not worried about that. Jace comes down, a blue card in hand, looks like perhaps a pair of forces. Containment Priest getting cleared now. Wasteland trying to cut back on Mark's mana, but in between Vile and the amount of basic lands, it's going to be a tough sell. Sling Gang Commander now making even more goblin bodies. Not actually sure if they're red or not. I gotta check on that. I believe they are. And now munitions expert. Sling gang lieutenant, sorry, and they do create red goblins, despite being a black card. Munitions expert. Force of Willed. Now four damage. Coming in. Sling Gang Commander. Very near to lethal here, just sacking all the goblins. Oh, and there's actually a Chieftain in play, sorry. So that's eight damage that came in off of those tokens. This is a very dire situation. Bling Gang giving some inevitability here, and Mark answers back to go to game number three here. Bling Gang Commander, just a very interesting addition from Modern Horizons. That said, it's going to take a while to digest. I mean, there's just so many powerful effects. Something that we just have never really seen before. The, the master sets, you know, they have an incredible amount of power, but it's all stuff that we've processed in the past. So to have so many new game-changing cards hit the format all at once, uh, I mean, I feel like there's going to be just cards for the next six months to a year that people start exploring. I mean, the other day, Aria of Flame, I believe it is, out of nowhere spiked up to like 10 bucks because it was thought to be a good card to go along with the Is It Phoenix deck. It cooled off pretty fast, but that was just a really powerful effect for a short time. And, you know, when you've got powerful effects like these, sometimes all it takes is a metagame shift or a new printing to really set it free and become a real serious contender. It is absolutely pouring buckets outside. Hopefully that's not showing up in the audio for you guys. Hope for a good, clean game here. Both players having good starting hands. And we've got that. Seven kept on both sides. Delver of Secrets on the first play from Lucas. And Aether Vial on the other side. And look at this. Both players' strategies kind of working as intended. Stoneforge Mystic.
signaling perhaps that he has equipment in his hand. Grabbing a batter skull, aether vial ticking up. And Cabal Therapy, just a filthy response to Stoneforge Mystic. Also showing Brainstorm, Jace, Swords to Plowshares, and Containment Priest. Non-goblin players can be quite pleased that there's no one-mana goblins that generate a body when they leave. You've got to go up to two mana with the Mog War Marshal. Otherwise, Cabal Therapy would be just incredibly good in goblins, as it is very serviceable, but a little bit harder to flash back than it is in some of the spirit decks that people enjoy. Mog War Marshal, as mentioned, now being used. And is basically forcing a ill-timed brainstorm. And we'll see if Mark can sleuth this one out. What card is likely to still be in hand? At this point, you just want to hit something. And it looks like nothing for Mark. He's got Brainstorm, Ponder, and Delver. The swords on top of the library with the Jace underneath it. Mark gonna need to add to this board pretty quickly. I'm gonna be left behind by this more aggressive draw from Lucas Delver and company on the ground. Means that Lucas can be swinging in the air every turn while still having some ground defense. And he's actually going to offer up the Containment Priest into the red zone. Mark not going to look to double block thanks to the Swords to Plowshares. Munitions expert now. This guy just does some work. There's a body. The flash makes it a very complicated card to play against. And Delver of Secrets being taken down. Mark valuing his life total right now. Hoping this other Delver doesn't flip as well. The other option was clearing out the Containment Priest and unlocking this Aether Vial, which is currently not able to do very much. It is ticking up turn over turn. Ponder for Lucas. At this point, probably best. Probably best to make sure that Delver flips. That's exactly what he does. Umazawa's Jite added in. And this is looking very grim now for Mark. Is always GT capable of removing both of these guys? Log War Marshal. Jace the Mind Sculptor coming in. That gets rebbed. Oh, interesting. So that gets rubbed instead of the Delver of Secrets. What is going to happen here? Uh, 
So pushing through a little extra damage, keeping those counters around. Upkeep. Mog War Marshal dying. And now a Goblin Ringleader showing Munitions Expert and Pyrokinesis. Pyrokinesis to the bottom, that Munitions Expert now in hand. And that is going to do it. So Goblins not able to hold up to the assault here from Blue White Delver. That is all for this one. But don't worry, there is a lot more. Uh, you can check out our older videos, and we're always putting out new videos from ELD's Time Ball Games in Bellingham, Massachusetts. If you want to help the channel, of course, you can like, subscribe, share, tap that notification bell so you can know uh, the next time our new videos come out. Thanks for watching.